Shinji, a fitness freak and bodybuilder, has inherited his father's house and the vengeful spirit within its walls. Joined by an ex-girlfriend turned reporter and a psychic, the threesome set out for a ghost hunt. But things go south, fast, when one of them is possessed, and a case of mistaken identity lands Shinji at number one on the spirit's hit list. Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell. Now that's a title. I'll say it again. Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell. Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell was a passion project for the film's producer, writer, director, and star, Shinichi Fukazawa. It's a project that took him 15 years to complete. 15 years. Fukazawa shot the film mostly on weekends while working a full-time job. Several of those years were spent tweaking the special effects alone. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it difficult to dedicate myself to most tasks for more than 15 minutes. The film is also known as the Japanese Evil Dead, and for good reason. Fukuzawa was clearly inspired by Raimi's Evil Dead trilogy, but the movie doesn't feel like a rip-off or a pale imitation, but rather a good old-fashioned homage. And you have to give Fukuzawa credit here, not just for the amount of time he invested in the film, but for how fun the movie turned out. We get all sorts of slapsticky splatter and over-the-top gore. One character is stabbed in the back of the head and the blade emerges from their eye socket with the eyeball attached. When the knife is removed, the eye gets reattached. We get a decapitation via shovel. It's one of those where the shovel is driven into the wall and the head rests on the shovel, where it continues to mock Sinji, San's body. The possessed are shot, stabbed, melted, and exploded, accompanied by geysers of blood and gore. And for the most part, the makeup and gore effects aren't bad at all. Some of the other effects using stop motion animation and whatnot, although they are dated and amateurish looking, they're dated and amateurish looking in a fun, cheesy kind of way. Fukuzawa's performance is also a high point here. He's definitely channeling Bruce Campbell. We even get a groovy. Shinji even discovers his own boomstick and turns workout equipment into weapons. Think Rambo, only instead of a machine gun and a bow, he's using dumbbells and has a long bar strapped to his back. I wouldn't consider the film to be this lost treasure or anything, but Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell is highly entertaining, and it only clocks in at just over an hour in length, so it doesn't overstay its welcome. It also has this undeniable DIY kind of charm and infectious, silly sense of humor. I had a bloody blast with Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell, and man, I love saying those words. I recommend it, and I also recommend this new Blu-ray release from Visual Vengeance. First, let's take a look at the release and everything that comes with it. We get this slick slip with some really cool artwork. The sleeve is reversible, featuring original Japanese home video art. We get liner notes by Matt Desiderio. We also get retro VHS stickers, a collectible mini poster, and a vintage style laminated video store rental card. As far as picture quality and sound quality are concerned, this release is sourced from an SD1995 master from original tapes. It's a little rough, it's a little grainy, it's presented in full screen, but none of those are a bad thing here. The faded, grainy, worn look actually benefits the movie, I think. It gives Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder character and texture. It kind of reminded me of the old tape trading days. That's how I originally saw movies like Ringu, Zhuan, and Versus. They were all sandwiched onto one VHS tape, a little worse for wear because they'd been recorded in SLP mode, of course, many times over. The audio quality wasn't bad at all. The dialogue is clear, although it is subtitled, and all the splatter effects sounded nice and wet. Overall, I'd give the picture quality on this release a 2.5 out of 5, and the audio quality a 3 out of 5. As far as extras are concerned, first up we get an interview with producer, director, writer, and star Shinichi Fukuzawa. It's 4 minutes and 8 seconds in length. He discusses his love of horror, beginning at a young age, what inspired him to make Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell, his love of the Evil Dead series, and more. 
We get two minutes and 24 seconds of outtakes, two minutes and six seconds of special effects video. We get two trailers, a behind the scenes photo gallery and image gallery, and two audio commentaries. The first with Japanese film historian James Harper, and the second with Adam Green and Joe Lynch. This is a very nice release for Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell from the folks over at Visual Vengeance. Both the picture quality and the sound quality are okay considering what they're sourced from. I'm sure this is easily the best that Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder has ever looked or sounded, though. We get some nice extras and some cool accoutrements inside as well. If you're a fan of Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell, then this release should definitely be in your collection. If you've never seen Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell, again, I recommend it. This release would be a good way for you to experience the film for the first time. Let me know your thoughts on Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell down in the comments section below. If you've already picked up this release from Visual Vengeance, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below as well. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.